Our subject for this multimedia session is Application Visibility and Control with Palo Alto Networks. Over the next five minutes or so, we're going to talk about the key components that help Palo Alto Networks deliver application visibility and control more effectively than any other firewall on the market. We'll talk about App ID, the heart of the Palo Alto Networks firewall, the traffic classification mechanism that determines the exact application identity, not the port. We'll talk about ACC, or Application Command Center, which provides a visual summary of the network activity, including applications, users, and threats, and how that information can then be translated into secure application enablement policies. These policy options extend far beyond traditional allow or deny. Administrators can securely enable application usage to better the business. Application visibility and control with Palo Alto Networks begins with App ID. App ID is a patent pending traffic classification technology that uses as many as four mechanisms to determine exactly what the application is and then that application identity is used for the basis for all security policies. The key difference between our firewall and other firewalls is that we make the policy decisions based on the application, not solely on the port. For comparison's sake, traditional stateful inspection firewalls use only one mechanism to identify the traffic, and that's port. So port 80 equals HTTP is the only mechanism that a stateful inspection firewall will use, and that in today's advanced world of applications is inefficient. App ID is very different than stateful firewalls with add-on componentry for the following reasons. It's always on, meaning App ID, as soon as you install it, App ID is working. It's always the first action taken, meaning we're always looking at the traffic immediately, just like any other firewall, but we're doing so based on the application. We're looking across all ports all the time. There's no need to set a specific configuration mechanism or look for a, a particular application on a particular port. We assume that all applications are capable of spanning all ports. And App ID is scalable and extensible, meaning we can add additional traffic classification elements to App ID as the application landscape advances. There's an old adage that says, knowledge is power. And in this case, knowing the identity of the applications on the network is a pretty powerful tool in the battle to maintain a secure network. Now let's take a look at App ID in action. The results of App ID traffic classification are displayed in Application Command Center, or ACC. ACC is a standard no charge feature that visually summarizes the always on across all ports traffic classification that App ID is performing in the background. What you get is a summary of the applications, the URL categories, the threats, and data patterns traversing the network over the time period selected. ACC is customizable, meaning I can change the time periods that I'm viewing, I can change how the information is sorted, and I can change the number of elements that are displayed within this top level ACC. Let's talk a little bit now about the applications being displayed. As you can see, all of the applications are live or clickable. Now imagine for a moment that you've never seen a particular application on your network, such as BitTorrent. You might drill down into the BitTorrent application and take a look at what the BitTorrent application is. We give you a definition of the application. We tell you what the ports are. And we also give you a little bit more information about how the BitTorrent application behaves. Can it transfer files? Is it prone to misuse? Is it evasive? And so on. And that information is used to determine the risk factor. Risk factor of five is high. Risk factor of low is one. So in the span of just a few minutes, however long it takes you to consume this information, you've learned a lot more about what the application is. Remember, knowledge is power. In addition to the information about the application, we tell you who's using the application. Not only are we giving you the IP address, we're also giving you the user information, assuming that you're using Active Directory, LDAP, or eDirectory, and that you've installed the user ID agent. Other data points that we provide that can help you make a more informed decision about how to treat this application include the source and destination of the uh, country, where the traffic is coming from, 
and we also provide you with information about the security rules the traffic is touching, as well as the threats and the data patterns traversing the network and associated with this traffic. Now from here, an administrator can go one of two areas. They can go into the policy tab or they can carry these criteria into the log viewer to do more granular ground level analysis and reporting. Let's jump into the policy tab and take a look at the policy tab real quickly. This is where an administrator will translate what he's learned in ACC into application enablement policies. As you can see, very familiar uh, policy editor, source and destination are common in the firewall language. What's different is the user and the applications. So I can set policies based on the different users and different applications and then I can apply a threat prevention profile or a traffic shaping profile to that traffic in order to securely enable those applications. So to summarize what we talked about today relative to application visibility and control, App ID, the heart of the Palo Alto Networks firewall, classifies exactly what the application is, irrespective of port, encryption in use, or evasive tactic. That information is then translated into visual summary in ACC. And that knowledge provides administrators with a tremendous amount of power. The application identity, how it works, and who's using it enables better decision making on how to treat that application, whether it's allow, deny, securely enable, or what have you. And that is accomplished in the Unified Policy Editor, where you can securely enable applications using the application and even the user as the basis of the policy. So you can allow the application and scan for viruses or shape the application using QoS, allow by user or by group. The options are almost limitless in terms of securely enabling applications. That concludes our multimedia session for today. Thanks very much for attending.